If you like the video, please consider supporting James Corp on Patreon. All right, we're back. Hi, Hi everyone. Welcome back to part four of four. Hi. <laughs> As we go into the, like the last 45 minutes, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so we last left off. Um, uh, Elaine had just Alan or uh, is it is it Elaine? Is that how it's actually pronounced? There's no N at the end, so it's Alain. But like uh, the N is silent. Allah. Yeah. Okay. Allah. You like make the shape of the N, but you don't vocalize. Allah. What? Okay. I can't really <laughs> say anything. Just say Alan. Just say Alan. I'm just gonna say just. Alan. I'm just going to say Alan. Because that's presumably where the name comes from. Yeah. Alright, so... Uh, yes, so... Alan has just... ripped a hole in the fabric of reality and stepped through onto the ship of uh, the... whatever it's called. The Levable. Yep, that one. And... Uh, yes, and... Um, how's everyone reacting to basically cries of pain from a ship from the mast and this hull appearing this this bloody tear in the fabric of, of time and space that's even if marie can um, see it from where she is i mean marie you're from montan like you know that it's likely that alain as a noble has poor taste yeah i'm not i'm not paying attention I, everything behind me is just uh silence I am staring forward, <laughs> daggers flying. He is full on dramatic moment right now. Exactly. Um, Siobhan, on the other hand, is kind of paying attention to the ship and has uh, eagle eyes or whatever that advantage is. <laughs> um, so actually, while you had stepped away, I wondered if I would maybe need to make some kind of roll as to whether she would fall out of the rigging or wind up somehow tangled in the rigging from shock. Because <laughs> um, I'm imagining for herself and how she was brought up, like magic is not something that you do. Like if you have it, you don't talk about it. You are like, you know, she's not going to talk about her magic. So this is a shock to her to see. Mm. Whereas the Emperor of Montaigne has been like, fuck you, I'm the Pope. <laughs> so. So yeah, so Alan arrives on the ship. You're no longer left in pool. Does Siobhan fall out of the rigging? Yes. <laughs> just for just for dramatic dramatic purposes. Just for dramatic effect. She shrieks and falls out of the rigging. <laughs> um I also imagine that she well if she has any kind of recovery, she'd be prepared for an attack. Like she I don't, or actually no, because it's just your hands that came through, right? Like, she wouldn't have seen you yet? I mean, my hands are ripping it open, and then I'm standing there. Okay, so she would have she would have realized that it's you, but it's still shocking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Out of curiosity, how do you survive the fall? It's probably not far. Because she's basically a cat. Okay. <laughs> Because I've I've literally been preparing in the back of my mind like a quip a quip for Marie to say. So as you, so as you fall out of the rigging and land as a cat, Marie just nonchalantly says, "Please be careful. We need all the rigging available." Um, she wants to be like uh. There's a fucking portal on your deck. <laughs> Marie turns around, sees Alan. Walks through, portal closes. We told you, quarter past five, you were leaving. And I told you, it doesn't matter, I'll go ahead, I'll catch up. 
and Melville's. And she just turns around and faces the sea again. Daggers poking out of her eyes, her eyes bulging <laughs> out of her head. <laughs> it's this vein, there's a vein on her neck, on her head that's sort of like throbbing. But... <laughs> she's lucky, she's uh, Alana's lucky that she, um, that she doesn't go into a full on rant at the nobility and the use of magic. So, uh, unless anyone has anything they want to say or do before they, before we arrive at the wreckage, say so, or, or we'll just jump straight to arriving at the wreckage. Is there a surgeon on the ship? And if so, is there enough time for me to potentially be healed? Yes, there is a surgeon. Uh, Denise Lavan, he is also from Montaigne, I believe. I literally should have written down where they're all from, but I believe yes, Denise Loving is from uh, is from uh, Montaigne, and he is the ship's doctor. Yeah, everyone should have access to the ship as well. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I have a very. Um, multicultural ship. I have crew from just about everywhere on the main map. Uh, with the exception of be being the Commonwealth and the Crescent Empire. Okay. All right. And Vidachi. So. That's why Siobhan's here. <laughs> so it's probably a f it's probably a little, it's probably a couple of days later you arrive at roughly where the shipwreck should be. The crew um the crew start basically you know um yeah the crew basically starts like getting the dive bell ready to be you know dropped into the ocean with, with the rope attached um uh what's everyone doing while they're doing this marie is pacing the deck and watching the diving bell get ready I am. I. I almost guarantee Alain and Siobhan are having a vigorous argument about whether or not Alain can <laughs> go into the diving bell. Including that is exactly what's happening right now. It will include statements like, "I can literally rip a hole in in reality and walk through." It's impossible for me to drown because I can teleport. Um, Siobhan's response will largely be along the lines of you can keep that nasty ass magic away from me um, and clearly we don't even fucking know you so why should we trust you to be down in that bell like freaking noble sorcerer bullshit we ain't having none of this however we cut back to the uh, college <laughs> and the professor's still waiting for uh Alan to come out of the closet. <laughs> I think we're all waiting for Alan to come out of the closet. Valid. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Happy Pride Month, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Pride. <laughs> <laughs> there was no way I was letting that walk past me. Come on. Been, uh, you beat me to it. I have been waiting for ages to make that joke about that. <laughs> but I've been too scared to do so I'm glad you did it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Probably shouldn't go drop some butt emotes in chat right now with some pride flags, right? <laughs> uh, why not? <laughs> uh, I broke Cameron again. <laughs> it's not hard. <laughs> I'm very fragile. 
He is. He's poor, <laughs> poor innocent mind. <laughs> oh, my mind's not innocent. I grew up on Jimmy Carr, so you know I'm not innocent. I love Jimmy Carr, even though he laughs like a seal. Anyway. Uh, right. Serious, serious, serious. And... This is a ser I think I think there might be all three of you trying to get down this in this bell to go down. <laughs> to tell you the honest truth, Marie because yeah. of Marie because of her, she, because of her. I, I think a few of you your art for hubris is going to come into play here. Yeah, um, I'm going I want to know what the fuck went on down there. Yep. Yeah. Um, Siobhan, you would also yeah. So I'm gonna play. Um, I think the only per. Hang on. What's Bree? Bree is. You receive a hero point when you accept someone's lies or lopsided deal. So you're the only one that might not have this come into play right now, yeah. because That's it's. Uh, it's it, yeah. You're not like throwing yourself down the. You know, if you had the stupid, the one where you're like, you're reckless or whatever, then I might. But yeah. So Marie and Siobhan. You can both have one hero point, but your hubris activates. Excuse me. Now you can say no, but you have to spend a hero point to cancel it. Um, just trying to find my hubris again. Uh, you receive a hero point when your your and your hero covets something and does something unwise to get it, like go down in the diving bell. I mean, I'm going to take it. And I'm going to do it as well. But it means I have to do something unwise in order to succeed. Mm -hmm. Like go down let in a diving bell? Like letting a lamb join us in diving in the diving bell. Well, what I meant was more she has to do something unwise to get it. So I assume that means she has to do something unwise in order to succeed at getting into the diving bell. Mm -hmm. Like pushing ah. a lamb off the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Went down the wrong hole. Title of your sex tape. I was gonna make that joke and I figured I'd made enough. All right, children. Is there really wrong? Is there really wrong? Oh, she is. <laughs> oh, oh, I want to add to that, but I don't. I don't think that's wise. Uh, it's so, fine. so if you do it, you're gonna have to play up to. You're gonna have to role play this all out. So let's do this, shall we? Okay. Maria has as some diving bell is ready uh, for people to walk in. Marie is just bear with me. She's going to strip down to her underwear because obviously she doesn't want to get the full uniform soaked and also it's super heavy. And um, she turns to the crew and says, um, Anyone who wishes to join me, speak so now. Otherwise, prepare to lower us. And she goes into the diving bell. Is there? I thought there was only room for one in the diving bell. Diving yeah, it's not, quite big. Yeah, but that means you're breathing in more oxygen, which means that you know you can't stay down there as long. True. I I imagine. I want to. I want to. I mean, Siobhan, able... Siobhan, Siobhan, If you want this hero point, not only do you push Elaine in the uh, water. You will literally. I didn't say that what I was going to oh, do. I okay. said that I had to be. Well, like well my like suggestion. That. So this is my suggestion for the hero point. While Marie is getting down to her smalls, mm -hmm. you literally just jump in the diving bell and go down. Oh Pretty that close. That's what I was going to do. <laughs> All right. So, describe. Let's let's do this, shall we? 
Yeah, just, there are probably like wooden benches in there for us to hold on to. I know, I think you just well, stand up. <laughs> well, no, because um, the diving bell will have a false bottom, will have no bottom, hence the term diving bell. Yeah, no, but there'll be, there might be a lip, there'll be a lip around the edge, which you stand on. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah. That's, I think. That's Hang on. what it is. Let's yeah. have a look. Let's have a look. Let's see what diving bell will Let's see how they look. Because my knowledge, my knowledge of the diving bell comes from Black Flag. So I was, and also thinking about modern bathy spheres, mm. which have a place for people to sit down in. But it's not like it's a permanent thing. It's like a wooden, varnished wood that is designed purely to be held onto as the diving bell goes beneath the ocean. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, there, so there is no floor. Um, and yeah, it would be like a wooden ledge. Yeah. So that, so yeah, a few of you can go down. It's probably designed for yeah, two okay. people. Probably even the smallest ones. But we're both small. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're both small and I'm normal size. That's fine. Okay. All right. Sure. Yeah, All size. Yeah. All three of you can go down then. Let's say that. Yes. Um, and Kyrix does make a good point. Siobhan's corset probably not conducive to underwater, and as she has no shame, she's just going to leave it on the deck. Yeah, I think that's probably fair also. In that case, uh, in that case, Marie is also like that. We are all, we are all in our birthday suits as we dive down. Except yeah, for... Yeah, right. and just for safety's sake, uh, Marie would have asked one of the crew for a dagger. Okay. <laughs> for sharks. For sharks. <laughs> so I know I'm giving the oh, DM shit. ideas, but he's also seen Black Flag. A uh, oh, play Black actually, Flag, presumably. Actually, actually, I haven't, but hey. <laughs> well, there are sharks in the underwater missions, and they are nasty. I'd like to. I just can't be able to buy it. Anyway, um, all right, so yeah, so the dive bell is dropped into the ocean. And um, yeah, you, you, obviously, you know, the water stays at the bottom. It, it sort of slowly rises as you breathe in the oxygen and, and use the oxygen. But, you know, it's kind of, it's not, you know, it is kind of slow uh, of how much, you know, how long it takes the oxygen to deplete. But obviously, eventually it will fill up with water because the oxygen will be used unless unless the carbon yeah. carbon monoxide stops it from coming in I think the yeah it, it would yeah the co2 would be taking it up um so it takes about 10 five minutes to reach the bottom i guess is it still light enough um, no, they just crank you down pretty slowly because a they're not used to using a diving bell, and also it gives you enough time to perhaps uh, climatize Get used the, to the pressure. pressure. Yeah. Um, by the time. Does Siobhan see anything on the way down? You can see. Well, at first you don't, but eventually you do see a wreck of a ship. Uh, if you're using eagle you eyes, I would. Extra. Yeah, I also have eagle eyes, so I would also probably see it. Yeah, that oh. was sort of my point. Sure, of both of you. Yeah, all right, you sure, both of you can give me a risk on notice, please. Hashtag I don't see shit. <laughs> okay, uh, so how do we? It's been so long since I've had to roll. Well, it's time to relearn. So a risk roll would be. So you so go to notice. I think it's uh, going to be. I think it will be a wits notice roll as well. That's what I was going to say. Is probably wits to sort of understand what it is that you're seeing mm -hmm. and interpret it properly. Yeah, wits notice. There we mm -hmm. go. 
So yeah, drop traits. down. So in the trait section next to where 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 the skill is, drop it down to yep. wits. So notice wits. And then... Okay. So before you roll, you also going to get a bonus dice because you've got eagle eyes. Yep. So one. Uh, so do I do I get the bonus dice because this is the first time I'm using it. Uh, yes. Okay, so I get an extra dice there. Uh, and technically, this would be the first time for Siobhan as well, wouldn't it? Yep. For this particular skill, yes. So, so, both, so, I so, just, just, so tell me what, what you're doing as this as the dive bell descends, the two that are just about to do a roll. What are you doing? I want to know descriptively what you're doing. Um, so I, uh, the diving bell would have portals. Uh, it doesn't. So we're in an air-filled coffin. Pretty much. Into the... <laughs> Pictures I just looked at is literally, uh, uh, like a, a, a bell, mm. right? Literally like a bell. And your only viewing is viewing through there, through, through the part of the water. In that case, <clears throat> um, Marie is lying down on the ledge and is shoving her face into the water and is using her eagle eyes to look across all the coral and the cliffs um, to see if she can't find the telltale signs of a mast or a bow or stern, because she doesn't know how this ship sank. Did it sink in one piece? Did it sink in two? Um, mm. You know, it's been a year, so the ship's going to have a bit of um, sea life on it. Uh, so she'll also be looking to see if maybe there's a bit of activity, um, fish finding a new home or securing their new home. And is, uh, yeah, she's looking for any glints of potential coin or uh, rigging that was very particularly shiny. Okay. Siobhan? Um, Siobhan's still mad that Alain came down, um, <laughs> even though they decided that all three of us were going to go. So uh, Siobhan basically grabs her um, signature item, which part of it is just a long rope. Yep. Ties one end of the rope around her waist, quickly ties the other end of the rope around Elin, and then basically leans down and submerges her uh, upper half underwater. Um, this to... is how we become best friends. Right, though? Right, though? <laughs> this is how you tie the knot. Ropes that bind. Hey! Well done. <laughs> well done. Um, Who are you saying that so... to? That's why I was pointing up because oh, okay. on the twi on a stream you're above me. Okay. <laughs> um, so she basically submerges her upper half underwater and is looking for signs while trusting Elin to manage that rope. Okay. So I need to think of consequences. Just cut on the rope if you start to feel like you can't breathe. Of course, darling. So this is going to be. Okay, so let's say, let's take this as like a uh, dramatic sequence or an action sequence. What, what do you reckon it would be? Would it be an action or a dramatic sequence? Probably action. Dramatic is usually for like court or like scenes with a bunch of people. Um, whereas action sequences are usually like the quick, you know, you need to get a thing done and there can be multiple rounds. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to need to think up some quite interesting things to do. Okay, so so because so it is going to be almost like a group effort, I guess. So I need to come up with quite a few things. So this is where I'm going to be relying on all the players to help me. So um, I think you're going to need to. I think between the two of you, you're going to need to spend for. It's, See, this is where I struggle. How many, how many, how many raises I need people to spend to like do things. So I think between two of you, well, 
if you think about it like this, one is something that's sort of normal. One is a normal thing you could do. Two is something that would be like difficult for you to do. And then anything more than that, you're looking at like heroic actions, right? So like a four raise action would be like, that's the thing you're supposed to be doing in this heroic scene. Okay. Um, it's a little bit different when, when you're doing like group consequences, for instance, because then everyone can contribute, but. Okay. All right. So um, two raises to spot the wreck just because of things that have happened to the ship. All right. Uh, you can uh, an additional raise will allow you to see something not normal on the ship. Uh, a third raise to is that right? Yeah. So two. So so yeah. So a third raise will allow you to spot something that's not normal about a wreck ship. A third raise you will spot something interesting no, this is so the first four. raise is to spot the ship two, normally two, so you need to, no no so you need to spend two raises to spot the ship one raise to spot something in uh interesting something, something interesting uh another raise you'll spot something um not normal about a wrecked ship can i make one suggestion yes please go ahead I that it would be reasonable in this case for you to say we can't take advantage of any of the other things because these all sound like opportunities except for spot the ship right yeah um would it be reasonable to say that until we spot the ship we can't take advantage of any of the opportunities uh yes that's something that i would probably do because then like we have to mm. spend two raises to spot the ship first yep and you have to spend it individual well would you have to spend it individually? Well, yeah, you can't really communicate with each other. Um, so, yeah, so you both have to spend... You know, you're both going to have to spend two raises to spot the ship. One raise to find something uh, interesting. Another raise to find... Something that shouldn't be... Yes, yeah, uh, just some some information about maybe how the ship sunk. That's that's what the uh, import, uh, information is. And uh, anything else? Um, so uh? you could say that by, by the second initiative of round two, if we're not done, then we start taking wounds. Yep. All right. Yeah, so and if you're not... Gives us like a timer, right? So yep. like... By, by round two, at initiative two, or something like that, however long you, you would like the action sequence to last, um, we start running out of air and taking wounds. Okay. Oh, so, um, how am I going to do this? Well, I'm going to have to do this weird way. Let me go up to the top. I mean, realistically, you could even just make it one round and say, you know, at initiative zero. Yeah. But, like, if we haven't started to go back up by initiative zero. Like well, no, I, I, well, no, I, I don't think you're going to, I think, because you're in the bell, you're not, you're not poking your head into the water. So you're probably, you're, you're probably out of this risk because A, you're not involved and B. Right, right, right. So how can I do this? Because um, it's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be a tight, you know, you know, um, the, the whole idea is that it's not going to be, except for the damage which will happen on uh, zero, raise zero. So once we get down to zero, you will take damage. So um, let me just start naming these. Um... One raise. I duplicate this. 
I'm really sorry for bad ideas, guys. <laughs> yeah, but this, this yeah, I noticed is... you're sitting there coming up with the ideas as you're like in the diving bell. I mean, with I the was bond, like half sprawled across your lap. Well, I still, like... I mean, I, I, I mean, like I said, I still, I need as much help as I can. So, I mean, you know. I was going to suggest that Shanks swim into the territory. <laughs> My ADHD medicine just wore off. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, all of a sudden I realized I was like bouncing around and stuff, and I was like, wait a second. <laughs> Have a good day, Mr. Riddlin. I mean, obviously, some of this stuff can be like exp further explored when you get when you get closer to the sh you know when you actually like start exploring the wreck itself. But yeah, because this isn't the action sequence to actually no nope. go into the water. This is just to spot the okay. Um, and yep, yep, yep. And then uh, if you're not out by the final, um, let's do a turn one as well. We'll just say once we end. Um, if I'm very careful about how I use my approach, can I be involved in trying to spot these things? Because Same. even if I'm staying in the bell, I mean, like, I can sort of look. How do you feel resist? R E S I S T. Slower. R. R E. Yep. S I. Yep. S T. So about this, guys. He's fine. No problem. Just thinking you guys would not have seen Marie for the last two days since we've been sailing. They're in outside of serious mode. Hmm. Like, normally she is quite laid back, and the way I think of her is, um, here's a reference, Captain Amelia from the Treasure Planet film. Hmm. But with a French accent that I collapse, I keep collapsing on. <laughs> well, now yeah, she I is full- attempted an accent. Yeah. Well, now she's full on badass. Like, she is- one step away from hitting someone with a cat and nine tails. Well, that sounds like a good time. <laughs> Not when you rub salt on the wounds. I mean... All right. Uh, I do, not... Certainly. So, um, Alan, what's your approach going to be? Um, so, I have so much like random knowledge in my brain and I want to try and keep an eye on where they're going and how they're moving and then like do crazy things like splashing and clapping underwater and all this ridiculous stuff to try and signal to them based on what I know about like human biology and stuff so that, so that I can try and help prevent them from like running out of air or doing things that will hurt themselves. I guess I could actually, now that I think about it, I could just bang on the side of the, the diving bell because that's going to echo for miles underwater. It's a clear radar. Sonar. Right. Well, we're not leaving the diving bell and Siobhan is literally sprawled across your lap. So a quick little, we'll get her attention. <laughs> oh, valid. 
<laughs> oh my! So none of this, none of this is in order, right? It's just I, I've literally just, um, I've just set this up so that you know, uh, you can, you know, it's, it, I've put it all on initiative one, just because yeah. it doesn't, it, you know, it's not needs to be done by a certain period of time because you're on the way down. Um, so, so yeah, so sure. So what are you looking at rolling then, uh, Alan? Um, I'm thinking either wits or panache with scholarship. Sure. Okay, so does everyone want to roll for me then, please? So, do I get three extra because I described it, it's my first time, and I'm using Eagle Eye? Yep. Oh, in that case, I would also get three. Uh, also, uh, you could always... A small benefit for this? Uh... Well, you get you get two dice. You get the the uh, flare because I've got the flare first time and also eagle eyes for me. Yep. So you get three dice, and I can re-roll one because I have three points in wits. Is that correct? No, it's a skill. What's your skill at? Uh, three. You'll notice this three, so yes, you can re-roll one dice. No, my notice is two, so I cannot re-roll. So one, two. Once you've one. done, so what I need you to do, guys, is once you're done, click on your token, and if you look, an arrow will. Uh, there should be an arrow up in the top left-hand corner of the screen. Do you see it? There's a blue arrow pointing up. Click on our token, our cards. Yeah. So yeah. So click click on your cards. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah. Once you've worked out what your raises is, hit the arrow and then enter in your raises. But tell me if you've got any dice left over. Uh, I, I have two dice left over. Okay, I'm going to buy both them dice. Okay, what happens because of that again? You get one hero point. Okay. I have one left over. Okay, I'm going to buy that one. Um... Ooh, actually, that's perfect. That means I can drag both of you back up to the ship. It cost me one hero point per extra person I walked through a portal. And with. just because, and because we're about to enter into the next session, because we're about to end, um. They will carry over for the first like bit of the next se next episode. Sweet. Okay, I am so not seeing this arrow thing that uh, you just when check you... underneath turn order. I'm, I'm gonna just show you. Look on look on the screen. Look on the screen. Look on the well, if you're in the stream, look on the stream up there. Yep. Right there. Might not in fact you can't see my fucking thing. Um no. but up here. It's underneath the turn order. You have to click on your card, though, for it to appear. That, too. Nope. I don't see it. Um. I know I did this before, I just don't remember how. Alright, so, look on the stream. Yep. Alright, look, look at the top left-hand corner of the stream on the map page just next to the arrow the select and move thing there is that do you see that yes okay i see it now do you see it on your on your roll 20 yep okay okay so we've got a f do you have any dice left i have one one mm-hmm Right, I'm going to buy that as well. Sweet. I'm up to eight danger points. Awesome. All right, let, let me descend. Okay, so uh, Alan, you go. You get. You get to go first. Okay. Um. I am going to use. 
two raises to resist damage. Is that damage to everyone or damage to one person? Damage to yourself. Oh, damage to myself. Mm hmm. But you're not. St technically, you're not in that because you're not sticking your head in the water. Um, you know. In that case, I want to create an opportunity for. I'm going to spend one raise to create an opportunity for someone to spot something that is particularly valuable. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> See ya. All right. Okay, so that's one raise spent. So, I'll... so what you need to do, right, um, uh, Bray? Is on your what, keep your card selected, then hit the down arrow next to the up arrow, and then just okay. put minus one, and it will drop you down to uh, uh, turn by one dice. Um, yeah, so there we go. And then it messes up, and it does that again. So sometimes this plays up a bit. So um, so Siobhan and uh, Alan get to go again. Well, Alan gets to go again, and Siobhan gets to act. Um, Whatever order you. What order do we want to go in? You can go, Shell. Okay. Um, now, how do I take advantage of that opportunity? Spend the race. race. Okay. So. I'm going to do that. Because um, that's very much her way and um the way i'll take advantage of that is that i assume that elena is able to stop her from falling completely out of the diving bell so she can sort of stretch a little further or whatever um and then she will spot something interesting so no uh so you are you taking a, are you taking the opportunity yes yeah okay so you notice that your eagle eyes you notice that the uh the captain's quarter door is open and hmm. um so i will spend two of my remaining four raises in order to resist damage on shaban's behalf representing me pulling her back out of the water before i know she will start to suffocate Okay, spend two raises then. Hey. I said... Okay. There we go. Now, does that mean that I do not have to spend the two raises to resist the damage? Then? That is correct. I love this game. <laughs> right, so Marie and Siobhan, you get to activate again. Um, Marie, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I have to spend the two points first to locate the but ship. Don't I've I? just realized a massive error. Mm -hmm. None of you have spent any t the two raises needed to spot the ship. So I don't know how that was pointed out, uh, which is probably a bit of my fault, but as long as you all spend two raises to spot the ship, then I will allow that to continue. Well, I was about to spend two races to spot the ship. Okay. This is Marie's first action. <laughs> yes, so I will go back here. Right, two. There we go. So I now know the location of the level, uh, of the, um, of the, uh, wave runner. That is correct. Siobhan? Uh, well, I will spend my the two races that I need in order to spot the ship as well, so that I can notice that the captain's door is open. Okay. And I will Hello? spend my last two raises resisting damage on Marie's behalf. Okay. Um, you still need to spend two raises to spot the ship. <laughs> I don't really care about the ship. Yeah. He doesn't need to... Like, he's not looking for the ship, right? He's not looking for the ship... Uh, he's not looking for the ship. The two of us are looking for the ship. Okay. All right. So I slightly messed up there then. Okay. That's fine. 
Okay, so the cabin door isn't open because you didn't spot the ship. Um, you spot uh, a. Even if you couldn't, Wait. Know that it's there. Yeah. I spotted but, the ship though, so I can see that the cabin door is open. Yeah. Yeah. Because she took the uh, she took the opportunity I can, that was I can taken. use those two raises to see the ship instead. That's fine. Okay. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Okay. I, my fault. My fault. Sort of. So, um, Cameron, you're still going to take damage. That's fine. Okay. Um, Marie and Siobhan, you've got one raise left. H. I mean, if I I have to come up to breathe. No, you don't, because you're still going to uh, take one. You're still going to take one. You're still going to, yeah, you're still going to take one damage, even if you spend. Oh, am I? Yeah, well, you yeah, because you've got to spend two raises to to ignore two damage. Oh, I thought. No. Nope. So wait, is it the air that we are holding in our lungs, or is it yes. the air, air? Yeah, the air that Can you're I holding. Not... Oh. Can I not use a raise to get up and take a big goal? Cost you two raises. Ah, shit. Well, in that case, I'm going to keep my... I'm going to spend a raise to uh, spot something unusual about the sinking of the Wave Runner. Okay, so one of the things you notice is that there is no telltale signs that the ship uh, hit any rocks whatsoever. I fucking knew it. Also, says it. also the deck seems awfully blackened for it to uh... fire. Okay, that one's gone. Siobhan? Yep. See, I may have got some uh... rules wrong, so just, just saying. I may have got things a bit messed up, but hey. That's okay. Um, so if I understand correctly, were those two raises, um, still spent to stop me from taking damage? Just so yes, that I know. Yes, that is, yeah, okay. you aren't taking any damage. Because we're doing that whole opportunity thing. Okay, um, I will use her last raise then to spot something interesting, because once they found the ship, she just wants to know where she can find the treasure. Okay, so you notice... That the, the 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 figurehead of the dolphins is still attached to the ship. That is pieces of shit. Ooh. And with that, camera two hundred years too early. Yep, and Cameron, you take two wounds, not dramatic wounds, just two wounds. They will okay. carry over. Like I said, until we finish this this part of the. This this whole water thing, they won't recover until until you get back up to the surface. All right, so that's it. We're going to wrap up. We're going to end right there I on have that. One question. Oh, you might. You, yep. Sorry, my question was, um, because this is still like an ongoing oh, yeah. scene. Do we keep any hero points? Dungeon. Yes, dungeon. you will. You will keep all hero points until the okay. end of this underwater under, underwater session. Okay, cool. so, uh, but as soon as you head back up to the ship, that will be like the equivalent of us starting the uh, a new starting a new session. <laughs> all right, uh, and Miss Misfits, thank you for the follow, most appreciated. Welcome <laughs> to the corp. But yes, so um, we're going to do some shout outs. We're going to get people to um, uh, give themselves where they can find themselves and stuff, and then we'll wrap up. But Anyway, um, so let's start with Cameron. Cameron, give yourself a little shout out. Hello, so once again, my name is Cameron Harrison. You can find me on Twitter at CLH Harrison. Uh, I am here Mondays uh, for uh, Corp 7C. Uh, and uh, I will also, if James will let me be around in anything else, uh, we will let you know beforehand. Uh, I am also uh, available in the Discord for people that game, and I also hang around a lot of art streamers, um, Twitch channels, 
uh, specifically Spooky Draws and uh, Luda and Stanley Draws. So um, if you want to reach me, you can probably find me there. I'm also a writer who has an Inca page, which he will give a link to James for so that he can post it, it uh, so that the bots can manage it. What? Uh, it's a free, it's a free website in which people can publish uh, works. It's what basically sort of works? a collection, uh, fiction, all sorts of fiction. Oh, okay. It's clean. Don't worry. Okay. All right. Um, uh, Bray. Again, I'm Bree Barnes. Um, the best way to find my uh, my work is on Instagram at just an, uh, just another Bree underscore official. Um, I'm mostly a photographer. Also, I'm going to start running my seventh C game, which has been a tabletop since the fall. Um, I'm going to start running that on on Twitch, I guess, because my players want to do it. So, oh fun! Um, that'll be a thing on Wednesday. Yay at like 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, so, yeah. Why did I only do one? Sorry? Nothing. Ignore me. I'm just wondering why I only did one. Did you twitch? Just keep talking. Keep talking. I'm, I'm all set. Oh. Oh, okay. Fine. When do you start this 7C game? Um, we're going to be starting next Wednesday. So um, it's an established party uh, because we've been playing since the fall, but I'm accepting a few new players into the game because, um, you know, I'm a grad student and people graduate and move away and can't actually have do the time commitment anymore. So. Yeah. All right. And what time is that from? Um, it's going to be from 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time until 11 p.m. That sounds really late for me. Oh, it'll be the middle of the night for you. Oh, so when I'm awake. Excellent. Um, all right. <laughs> cool. Um, uh, Shell? Hello. Um, you can find me on Twitter as Kiss It Better. I'm there shitposting like, all the time. Um, you can find me in like a billion Discord servers because I collect them like Pokemon. Um, I'm in the people that game. I'm in the Spooky Draws one. I have my own one um, because you can also find me on Twitch here. I'll be live in about four hours playing Hollow Knight tonight, probably. Um, but I do variety stream on Twitch. So I play Hollow Knight, Cooking Simulator. We blew up an oven in Cooking Simulator yesterday. It was hilarious. Um, I'm running a Sims challenge right now, which is The Bachelorette, but with Sims, one of the characters wound up dating himself. It's crazy. There will probably be murder. <laughs> um, yeah, I do a little bit of everything on, on Twitch, so you can find all of my schedule and stuff on my Twitch page. All right, thank you very much. Go check her out if you're not already. Um, as for me, um, if you enjoy... All right, so yeah, but you'd have to, you'd have to, um, Bree, PM me everything you want on on a shout yeah, out, and I'll get it sorted, yeah. Um, because at the moment I'm just having to do it manually. If you give it to me, I'll put it as a command. Um, okay. Add to me, um, if you wish to support the channel on Twitch, please do consider supporting me. Um, it does help. Um, what I do does isn't. <laughs> uh, I mean, you may not care, but it, it does cost me money to do. Um, I've lost two Patreons, so it is actually costing me money again, rather than like being um, breaking even. Um, you can either support me on Patreon, or you can support me on Twitch itself if you wish to and you enjoy this a lot. It does it does help quite drastic, quite well. Um, with Twitch, you get obviously you get my uh, free emotes, which are pretty cool. I like my emotes. They're very role play centric though, so you know, they may not you know, may not be everyone's cup of tea. Am I missing one? No. I think these are the emotes I've got at the moment. I still need to get a fourth one a fifth one done. 
but I haven't got the money to do it. But that's what I've got. So you've got hype, level up, plus one XP, and a critical. Which, I mean, is D&D-esque, but you can use it for anything. Um, if not, if you don't want to support me on Twitch, yeah, consider you can do as little as you, uh, as little as a dollar a month on Patreon, um, which also helps as well. And uh, also, don't forget to check out my social media. Um, all of this will be in the description below. PTG Discord is a group of like-minded individuals. Uh, you can find everyone here at that di at that Discord. Um, so you know, uh, the whole idea was that you know we all have that this Discord to use. Um, we don't have to have hundreds of Discords. Uh, you know, if you want to talk about role-playing stuff or video games or whatever, anything you can think about that you know encourages like group play and stuff like that. Um, check out my twitter for like uh when i'm going live and so on and so forth i am 100 percent considering doing some more video games because because yeah i don't stream enough I, i'm sort of like a lot of my time is consumed by like editing videos and doing stuff but i really need to stream a bit more often so i might start doing some games maybe not this week but next week i've already given your twitter out cameron <laughs> oh sorry i didn't see it um, Facebook, you can check my Facebook out. It's used pretty much like Twitter. If, you, if I'm going live, it will be posted on there. Or any YouTube videos that get uploaded will be put on there. And then, if you're not subscribed to me on YouTube, do think about subscribing to me on YouTube. There's a whole host of back catalogue of stuff to to um, um, that you can watch. Loads of different games that we've played over the years. Um, and then that's really it. I'd like to thank everyone for the follows and today, and the subs as well. Most appreciated. And um, what we'll do is we'll probably see. Hopefully on Sunday we'll be doing uh, Call of Cthulhu. Um, I've still got to do some finishing off of that, which is why I might not be doing video games this week. Once I can get, basically, I've got to do two chapters at once. And I'm halfway through chapter the first chapter, and I've got to do another like twenty odd pages of of notes, because um because it's a pre-written adventure. It's a lot of fucking work. I've sort of bitten off more than I can chew. Um, but if not, we'll be back on Monday at seven p.m. GMT plus one, where we'll be playing more uh, seventh C. Um, and other than that, that's it really. So we're gonna say goodbye to YouTube. Bye YouTube. Bye YouTube. Bye YouTube. Bye YouTube.